we are going to start with the class 7 syllabus which is actually a repetition of your previous knowledge plus you will be learning some new concepts in geometry you have already learned about whole numbers fractions decimals in the previous classes and we are going to elaborate more on those topics and continue the learning process we start with today's topic that is integers now the first chapter integers is a representation of numbers on the number line how to add integers how to subtract integers how to multiply them and how to divide them we will also be learning about the different properties like closure property distributive property commutative property and other properties which are required for solving questions now what are integers integers are a set of whole numbers whole numbers are numbers starting from 0 up to infinity and we have negative numbers so integers is a collection of positive numbers we have 0 that means 0 and positive numbers means whole numbers and we also have the negative numbers and this is called the number line where we represent these numbers at unit distance or at equal distances from 0 or to the right is positive and to the left you will find negative numbers so this entire collection of numbers on the number line are integers now on the number line we can represent 1 2 these are all numbers and if I want to represent 1 I can just circle it and show that this is the position of 1 now to add a positive number to this 1 plus 2 on a number line we have the initial position as 1 and we are adding 2 now when we add a positive number we will move two places to the right side of the number line so we are here at the moment so this is movement to the right we are moving 1 plus 1 we reach here so this position now becomes 3 so we can say that 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 so on adding a positive number we will move to the right of the number line now if we subtract a positive number then what happens so at the moment we are here 1 and we are subtracting 2 when we subtract 2 instead of moving to the right now we move to the left so 1 unit and 2 units to the left and we reach at this position that is minus 1 so we can say 1 minus 2 is minus 1 so this has to be remembered that when we add a positive number to a given number we will have to move to the right of the number line and when we subtract a positive number then we have to move to the left of the number line now let us look at some properties of addition and subtraction of integers when we look at the closure property now what is the closure property in the closure property we are going to check whether when we add two integers the result is an integer or not and when we subtract two integers is it an integer or not so is a plus b an integer let us take an example where a is 1 and b is 5 now when we add 1 plus 5 we get 6 so 1 is an integer 5 is an integer when we add both of them we again get 6 which is an integer so we can say that the addition process is closed in case of integers what about the subtraction is a minus b an integer let's take the same numbers 1 and 5 so 1 minus 5 we are going to get minus 4 so 1 is an integer 5 is an integer when we subtracted two integers we are still getting a integer so we can say that the closure property is valid for subtraction also in integers so closure property 1 for addition a plus b is giving us an integer a minus b is also giving us an integer so we can say addition and subtraction are closed when integers we can verify other properties of integers as well 